As promised, here's our high definess update. I have ordered boards, so I'll get those in, uh, I don't know how long, a couple weeks, and I guess you're going to start selling them, huh? Well, I told everybody probably four to six weeks after we order them, because at that time you had said it was going to take that long to get them back from the manufacturer. Yeah, that'd probably be about right. And uh -huh. then I, I figured it might take us some time to program and test and uh, maybe gather parts or whatever we were going to do to get them up. Uh-huh. But... Yeah, actually, just um, yesterday, I think, I finally got my website guy to upgrade my cart system. Okay. Because before, I was only selling um, the TG16 region mod board, which uh -huh. was probably going to be North America only. But in doing that, I found out that I had to set up PayPal uh -huh. to do the um, shipping calculation. Oh, yeah, you told me and, about actually, that. Actually, it wasn't calculation. Uh -huh. I had to inset... I had to set... Like, I had five entries for a range of weight, and I had to set whatever price that was, and I had to do that for each country. Uh-huh. And I was like, There's got to no, be a better way. There, there is. Uh-huh. He set up WooCommerce. Okay. So, and it's directly linked with USPS. So now it's, worldwide is automatic. Okay. I, and um, all, I, all I had to do was set what the dimension and the weight of each product was. And, and also then it calculates me, it. also it. lets me set what the box weight is. Okay. So the box with packaging is like the base weight and then however much you add into that. Oh. And I can set like a limit to what the weight the box is. and what. Oh, that's uh, pretty cool actually. I really, like that. really easy. That's exactly what I wanted like six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> when I first said, this ain't going to work. I want uh -huh. something better. Uh, but yeah, I'm finally glad that's done. So that part is probably... Good to go. Okay. So, well, we got that new update, the 2.25 update, which fixes a few minor game issues with Bart Simpson versus the Space Mutants, Ghoul School, and there was another game. I can't remember. Do you remember what game it was? I was hoping you did. <laughs> I can't remember what other game, but there's some minor palette issues, and this will fix Blaster all of Master? those. No, that worked fine. Oh, it was the Blaster Master title screen. Yeah. Yes, that fixes that as well. I think that was. Yeah, they're yeah, all Blaster related. Blaster Bastard is what you were Yeah, calling. Blaster Bastard. <laughs> That's what I yeah. Think of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Blaster Bastard and Fart Simpson. So yeah, I'm so excited about this. So I think this will probably be the last update for a while, and I think I guess I'll li what, link to the update in my video. Yeah, for the high def. Yeah, sure. I can link that. If there's NES file. If there's for like it. anybody out there that doesn't have a flash cart, I can redo my repro cart and uh -huh. send it to him. That was a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it ever again. Yeah, yeah. I only sent it to 12 people, and I swear to God, it took three months. Because yeah, I had to babysit every guy that got the cart. I was like, hey, what's going on with this? Can uh -huh. you hurry up and send it to the next guy? And it was a nightmare. It was a complete nightmare. That's what I figured. But, you you know, almost have to have a couple. And I'm sure there's not going to be everybody's screaming for this update because it's only just a few games. Four or five games. It also does fix the interpolation setting. Too. Oh, I was going to ask about that. Yes, it does fix that. So it works now? It does work. I don't know if you really want to use it, but it does work. So what does it do? It, it blurs, blur it horizontally blurs the screen slightly. Oh, you need to inset that. <laughs> if you get like a close-up of it and inset oh, that right here. Oh, uh-huh. Just to show it because I didn't even know and people were asking me and I'm like, well, Honestly, it's, it's been it's... broken this whole time. Oh. And does it, yeah, I mean, does it make it look... It looks more kind of fuzzy, kind of CRT fuzzy. -ish. Kind of CRT-ish? Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. I'd like to see well, it. Well, it was just kind of one of those little things I threw in there. And then what happened, the code, I changed the code and I kind of broke the code. And I never fixed it because I just never tested it. Hmm. I forgot to test it. And I just <laughs> never fixed it. That's and cool. it got through two revs without me fixing it because it's like, oh yeah, I'll look at it next time when I do the 2.0 update. And oh, well, I didn't look at it. Mm. And so this time I did look at it, and it is fixed now. So the hardware was all there, the software was all there. I just one little write was wrong, so I righted the wrong. I righted the wrong right, <laughs> <laughs> and that fixed it. Awesome. So I think. All known bugs are pretty much solved as far as I know. I mean, all games should work now. 
theoretically, hopefully. Um, the twin, the sharp twin. Oh yeah. Did we ever get back to that? Uh, no, we did not. I don't, still don't know why that doesn't work right. I just never threw it on the. I can throw it on the logic analyzer and look. I guess. I'm sure there's going to be a few people out there that want to do it, but for now, we're going to say it's not working. Yeah, it doesn't work right now. I mean, it physically runs, but the graphics are all screwed up. The palette's wrong, is what's wrong. See, I don't remember being able to get a disc game to run. Oh, I didn't, I didn't try a disc game. I just was trying cartridges. And I think that's where I was running into major problems with oh, okay. the disc game. Maybe there's some well, I do, um, yeah, I do remember incompatibility with it. and the glitching being pretty bad. But uh-huh. Yeah, hmm. I don't know why. So I was almost going to have to draw the schematic out for the twin to see exactly how they were doing that switching. I think that's probably why it's not working right. Whatever they were doing to switch between disk system and cartridges, not liking the mod, that's the problem. And I'm pretty sure I was actually testing that with the 2.0 firmware. Yeah, if I remember were. Right. So it's possible it's I don't know it's probably not possible that you fixed it with the 2.25 no no the 2.25 literally fixed just um, those games that had graphic and sprite and palette issues and the interpolation and literally those are the only fixes the amount of code change is extremely small going from 1.0 to 2.0 was a huge amount of code 2 to 2.5 is just a little baby bit of code hmm. cool compared Awesome, I can't wait to put this up. <laughs> There's going to be thousands of people. Yeah. Yes. So, I don't know. Is there any other things I want to talk about about it? Price is still $125 or $120 uh -huh. for the kit. So, that's not with shipping. I'm sure or shipping's installation be, if someone wants to yeah. install it. Yeah, and I don't think... Um, I never set installation prices. Okay, yeah. But I figured... 60 to 80 dollars maybe 60 dollars for a top loader of famicom and closer to 80 for the front loader because uh -huh. there's a little more work because just because of the front loader is such a pain just to take part comparatively uh -huh. yeah and then you gotta making the holes probably a little more difficult because you have to go through the the plastic and you don't have you don't have the benefit of going on the parting line of the case yeah and i should have brought the template we uh voltar is making us little templates. i did see that i saw a picture of that actually where he sent it to me on irc I did? Or no, he did. He did. Okay. Yeah, he sent, showed me, sent me a picture of him. I don't, I don't think I kept it, though. And he's working on one for the AV Famicom and Top Loader, which is okay. the same. Mm -hmm. But I should have stuff like that available as extras. And I'm thinking about having um, cap kits as uh -huh. extras as well. I don't, I don't think I'm going to sell them separately because it's like... It's not worth it. No, it's going to be like a $5, 10 kit for caps, and I just add it on to the high definition order, but selling it separate is just too much of a pain unless somebody yeah. has to order 10 or more of them then maybe you can go to console 5 for that if, <laughs> of course I've got Nishikons from Mauser and I and I did actually do a cap kit of his once a long time ago and they are I think they were Elna's okay which is a name brand that I recognize but it's definitely it's not as good I right. would think and, and I mean he sure may have, they work he may have fine through but, eBay as far as I know yeah I mean sure they work fine but I'd rather go with a bigger name brand yeah. Nishikon or Panasonic Chemicon yeah Rubicon uh, Rubicon I can't find very easily Digiti mm -hmm. doesn't sell them I don't I don't know that uh, Mauser does either I know they have Chemicon and Panasonic though yeah yeah, at work I use uh, Nishikon almost exclusively. That's all I've ever bought too. Well, no, I bought some Panasonics for Duo kits when I was still doing uh, leaded caps. And uh huh. <laughs> well, we actually I, I take that back. We do spec Panasonic and we do Nishi uh, Nishi Chemicon. So those are the two that I, I use at work. So since I'm the one that's in charge of buying the parts, well, I don't buy them. I spec them and I say don't substitute these caps because you know we've had problems with that at work where. Um, the the distributor was like, oh well, we got this cap. It's it's mostly the same. Yeah. And they send us the caps, and yeah, they're okay. And we put them on circuit boards, and then six months later, we get a board back, and all the caps are domed, and they're bad. Mm -hmm. So after that, we switched solely to uh, Nishi Chemicon or or Nishikon, whatever it is. Nishikon. Yeah. Nishikon. Is it Nishikon or Nash or? Yeah, I guess it's Nishikon, but don't they have another name? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. Nishikon, Kamikon, 
and Panasonic and Rubicon. Is Chemicon a different company? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, this Nishikon, like, HE series is what I really like because they're, like, really long life caps and they're low ESR, so they work quite well. So far, we have not had a single domed one after we started using those. Cool.